today's video, I'm going to take a look at these figures from Thingiverse from Daniel Lease. He has four different collections of figures that you can download to add to your layout. The one we're going to look at is Work Set 1. Now, this set has eight different figures that you could use on your layout. If you take a look, you'll notice that they are quite uh, pixelated. We're going to use Blender to add some subdivision multipliers to smooth the figures out. So I'm going to download the files and save these to my hard drive. Now I've already done this, so I'm not going to wait for this to happen. So here you can see in Chitterbox I brought the figure in, and this is figure 1 in set 1. So when we go to the scale, here you can see the sizes. Now for me, this is rather large scale. I'm going to be printing this at double O, so I want the figure to be approximately 22.5 millimetres tall. Now again, when we scroll in to have a little look, here you can see what I meant by the texture of the figure, which I want to improve in Blender. But what I do want to do is save this now as the scaled figure. To do this, I will go to File, Save As, make sure you click All Models, and then rename it. So I'm going to call this one Alberta 1 Scale. Click on Save because I've already done it. Now, what I will now do is I will bring that figure into Blender. So to get rid of the splash screen, just click anywhere on the screen. As usual, I'm going to get rid of the camera, etc. So delete. And then I'm going to go to File, Import, STL. Now I know these are in my downloads and they are in set one. Files and it's scaled. Now I will import. Now, here in Blender, you can see the figure. So, what we want to do now is try to improve the figure. This is quite a simple step to do. So, while we're in object mode, we're going to go to the modifier properties. Click on this. <coughs> and we want to add a subdivision surface. Click on this, now this will take a second to come up. And here you can see it's already added one subdivision already. Now that has improved the figure quite a lot. So this is without it. We take that up to level point one. That is improved. Now for me, I would go up to level two. And this, I feel, is adequate for what we need. What you then need to do is click on the down button here and apply. Now this will take a couple of seconds to work. Once that disappears, it's now done. Then what I would do is File, Export, STL. Save it to where you want it to be. So in this case, and put it in the same folder as the original one and I'm going to call this scaled and sub dim. Now I've already done this and I will export it. And the next thing I will do is show you in Chitterbox the results. So this was the original file as downloaded from Thingiverse and here you can see the modified file that has been done in Blender and didn't take too long and that will print lovely. And hopefully that shows you how easy it is to take a Thingiverse figure and improve it to what you want. Now you could inflate the clothing a little bit if you wanted to make it more baggy. But this video is just to show you what you can do with figures that you find already on Thingiverse. Later on I might show you how we can easily add a rig to this figure to then be able to change its pose. Hopefully these are helping you learn what you can do without too much work either using make human or downloading figures from thingiverse